Yeah, you're welcome back to the Afia Morning Show. We are just so close to rounding up. We have barely two minutes, but we cannot go without talking about the murder of the Omata chairman in Enugu. And this is something that has caused a lot of fear and, you know, agitation among lots of residents. Now, you would recall that the chairman of the Obwete Main Market Traders Association, Mr. Stephen Anyago, was murdered in cold blood by gunmen on Saturday night. And since then, the governor of Enugu State has responded. He has given security operatives 48 hours to fish out the killers of the Omata chairman. Uh, prior to this, the police officers had said that they had begun a manhunt for the killers. They said that the, the, the chairman was actually in a blue Toyota Corolla and another Toyota Corolla double-crossed him and ended up shooting him and he was confirmed dead at the hospital. So lots of residents have responded to the 48-hour deadline that the governor gave police operatives to fish out his killers. And they're saying things like, uh, let's look at Paul Pinnacle on Twitter, who, on X, who said, may their arrest and prosecution be swift. May they never have peace while their hunt is on. May the soul of Chief Anyago find peace. Amen. Another person, Metaphors on X, said, I love this. This is how Chief Security Officer of a state should act. The merchant of death has to hear it direct from the boss. No society moves forward in the midst of chaos and rampant insecurity. No way. People must know the certain grave acts attract repercussions, that certain grave acts attract repercussions. Then Kanye says, as much as this is painful, sad, and an unfortunate loss, be reminded, sir, that a lot of villages in Enugu are experiencing increased insecurity. We need you to work with local vigilantes to secure the villages since the federal government is not concerned. And Cheese News International says something must be done on this. There should be no room for such in the state. Enugu State is, not, is known for peace and hospitality. Enugu State is known for peace and hospitality. So, Namdi, this is tragic, but we just hope that the security operators would be able to fish out these unknown gunmen in 48 hours. Is no, it possible? Not, 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 not just to fish them, of course. Not just to fish them out, but also to make public who they are, mm. make public the prosecution process, and whatever is handed out as a sentence, make mm. that public as well. We need to see the process from beginning to end. Uh, this is too high profile a case and too high profile a person for it to go. I'm not saying anybody's life is more important than the other. But it's a thing of you have to worry that if somebody of such status mm. can have this happen to them, how safe is the common, common man, man like me yes. and you that does not have any... I, I don't have mobile police <laughs> in front of my house. So mm. th these are the things that worry people. We look at the state of security of how secure are those, you know, who are exposed as against those who have nothing, mm. who are politically exposed. So I, I think it needs to happen and they need to act fast. Um, of course, somebody knows who did it. Um, information, the police know what to do. I always say it, uh, a lack of motivation and a lack, not a lack of expertise is the Nigerian police problem. Well, we'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for being a part of the morning show this morning. We would get more information on all of this in subsequent bulletins. Do stay tuned to Afia TV for more. I've been your host as always, Nathalie Uku. I'm Anamdi Abaya. Have a great week ahead.